Ever wonder why honey never spoils? It's one of those magical mysteries of nature that has puzzled and amazed people for centuries. I mean, you could find a jar of honey from ancient Egypt, and it would still be as good as new. Imagine discovering a sweet treat that's thousands of years old and still perfectly edible. Today, I'm going to reveal the secret behind honey's eternal shelf life. Get ready to be amazed by the science and magic behind this golden nectar. First things first, honey is like nature's magic potion. It's not just sweet and delicious, it's a marvel of natural preservation. It has this special combination of low water content and high acidity that makes it almost impossible for bacteria and microorganisms to thrive. This unique balance creates an environment where spoilage is nearly impossible. It's basically saying, hey germs, no party for you here. The high sugar content also plays a crucial role in keeping those pesky bacteria at bay. Now let's talk about the bees. These little guys aren't just making honey for fun. They are nature's tiny chemists, working tirelessly to create this incredible substance. They actually add an enzyme called glucose oxidase to the nectar they collect. This enzyme is a game changer in the honey making process. This enzyme breaks down into hydrogen peroxide which acts like a natural preservative. It's like having a built-in defense mechanism against spoilage. So it's like honey has its own built-in germ-fighting superhero. These bees really know what they're doing and that's not all. Honey is also hygroscopic which means it can absorb moisture from the air. This property helps maintain its consistency and quality over time. But it doesn't stop there. Honey's ability to absorb moisture also means it can stay fresh and delicious for years. It has something called a super saturated sugar solution. This is a fancy way of saying that the sugar content is so high, it can't dissolve any more sugar. This high sugar content creates an environment where bacteria and other microorganisms simply can't survive. It's like a natural barrier against spoilage. So when honey does absorb moisture, it doesn't affect its quality but instead makes it even thicker and more delicious. It's like nature's way of enhancing its own creation. Now you might be thinking, okay, that's cool, but what about crystallization? Ah, good question. Crystallization is a natural process that happens to honey over time. When honey crystallizes, it's not spoiling. It's just the natural sugars forming crystals. This doesn't mean the honey has gone bad, it's just the natural sugars forming crystals. You can still enjoy it, or you can easily fix it by gently warming the honey, and it'll return to its liquid gold state. Just be patient and avoid overheating. Just be careful not to overheat it, or you might lose some of its beneficial properties. The key is to warm it slowly and gently. And here's a fun fact, honey is also antimicrobial. This means it can kill or inhibit the growth of harmful microorganisms. This property has made honey a valuable resource in traditional medicine. That's why honey has been used in traditional medicine for centuries, especially for treating wounds and burns. Its healing properties are truly remarkable. It's like the Swiss army knife of the food world, versatile, reliable, and always ready to help. So, the next time you see a jar of honey sitting in your pantry, remember it's not just a sweet treat, it's a powerhouse of nature's preservation techniques. It's a powerhouse of nature's preservation techniques. No wonder it never goes bad. Honey is truly one of nature's most incredible gifts. Alright folks, that's the secret behind honey's eternal shelf life. If you enjoyed this little dive into the world of honey, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more fun facts and food science.